Today on PlayStation Daily, we've got information on the release of Final Fantasy XV, The Witness is selling really well, and The Division beta is coming to an end. Let's get right into this. First up, we've got news on Final Fantasy XV. Square Enix announced that the release date for the near decade-long anticipated game will come on March 30th at an event hosted by Kinda Funny's Greg Miller and Tim Geddes. Outside of that, we also got some new footage coming from the Taipei Game Show showing off some stealth and battle gameplay. As you would expect, the game is still flashy as ever. Our take is that it's about time we got a release date for Final Fantasy XV. The game is confirmed for 2016 barring any further delays, but we don't have an exact date. Since the release date is being announced in March, the only real option are to bring it out in the summer or fall. Since summer isn't traditionally a season where big games are released, logic would say that the game is coming sometime in the fall. Regardless, after 10 years, we just want to see this game come out, and if we have to wait until the fall, so be it. Next up, Braid creator Jonathan Blow's new game The Witness is doing very well. Not only does the game have an 87 review score on Metacritic, but sales also seem to be very good. Blow stated on Twitter that the game is on track to sell more copies in a week than Braid did in its first year. Our take is that this is a bit surprising to be honest. There was a lot of outrage when it was announced that The Witness would be a $40 game and I and many others assumed that it would negatively impact sales. Goes to show that if a game is quality, people will pay for it no matter the price. The Witness is a much more expansive game than Braid, so it makes sense why the game was priced at $40 and why people are so willing to buy it. Good job, Jonathan Blow. And finally, if you haven't tried it yet, get on the Division Beta ASAP. It's ending tomorrow, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. The beta began on January 29th for those that pre-ordered the game. Unfortunately, demand was so high that not everybody was able to get access to the beta. Our take is that The Division is a game that many people have had mixed opinions on. So if you have the beta, definitely go play it. The beta gives you a pretty good idea of what to expect in the final game, and if you really don't enjoy the beta, cancel your pre-order. I myself have been pretty surprised by the game and find it a pretty good experience if you're playing with some friends. However, However, there are some glaring issues with the game that hopefully will be rectified by the time the game's ready to be released in March. So that wraps up PlayStation news for the day. What do you think? Is Final Fantasy XV finally releasing in 2016? Did you play The Witness or The Division beta? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.